Now that we have the roles, the function, and the segmentation, we need the people in. A record of project resource will represent all the people, internal or external, that will be involved in the delivery of services through projects. Let's look at some example here. So any employees, subcontractors, individual managing the projects, or assigned to a project, or assigned to a task, or needing to log time or expenses, they must exist as a project resource. Let's create a new project resource. Here, I would need to enter the name of the individual and link it, if possible, to an existing organization in my client instance. Remember, linking it to an organization will make the default value from the organization, such as work schedule and holiday schedule, bring them as default values on this project resource uh, work schedule which I will show a bit later on. Each project resource has to be linked to at least one project role. Yes, it will be possible in the future to have the project role, that project resource assigned to a different role or having that project resource that uh, plays different roles on the same project. That will all be possible, but that will be um, explained in another um, videos. A video. Um, these four here fields are segmentation fields, so it's going to rely on the information you entered previously on practices, region, for example, and use them uh, to filter, better filter this project resource in reports, for example. Um, the user field is going to be used if your individual has access to your Salesforce system. It means they have a license and a Salesforce user record is created. This field here is going to be a lookup and a link between that Salesforce user and your project resource record. Not mandatory, especially if you have resources that will never access your system. This field is not mandatory to be filled. The cost rate will represent the cost of this project resource for your organization. And the opposite, the bill rate is going to be the amount, the hourly amount charged to your customer when this individual is logging time on a project, or billing time uh, that will be invoiced on a time and expense project, for example. The, this self-explanatory field is active. So is this project resource currently active or not? Timesheet user checkbox, does this project resource, uh, will this project resource log time or use the my timesheet? Is he or is she a timesheet user? The external resource one is kind of a segmentation also, just to um, select if this project resource is out of your organization or not, you can check this. And the last one is going to be uh, the topic of my upcoming uh, session, upcoming uh, capsule video capsule on placeholder so I'm gonna keep it for now just save and look at my Jimmy Bean new project resource here's the information I entered from a different UI that is assigned in the details of this project resource and I can see a lot and this is um, the way Salesforce works so you've got the object the project resource and all the related object so is this project resource linked uh, link to any project to any task uh, does he or does she have any skills so you'll see this in and in the relationship if you scroll down a bit obviously these were empty because nothing has been done yet but it's it's interesting to see that you have some timesheets uh, but if you look closely it's because all of the upcoming uh, timesheets have been created for dates at which you will have holidays um, right so they're already created in advance um, the other interesting thing is to look at the work schedule of the project resource each project resource has only one work schedule if you click on this work schedule you're gonna see that here you already have hours on the um, for the work uh, schedule and these hours were pulled once again from uh, its related organization. So the brainstorm box we had. 
Same thing for the holiday schedule. This is a default value that was brought at the creation of this project resource. Um, the last here is a field called target utilization percentage. It's going to help you doing some calculation uh, that we'll explain a bit later on. So this is the work schedule related to my project resource called Jimmy Bean that I just created uh, related to my brainstorm box organization. Thank you.